Passan Restaurant, located on Union Street near Laguna in San Francisco. This is Jazz by the Richard Hadlock Quintet and the piano artistry of Norma Teagarden. I'm Gene Parrish, your host for the next three hours here from the Passan, and we bid you welcome to this special live broadcast, which culminates the second day of Sound Investment 83 here on KQBD Radio, part of the greatest show on air. The volunteers that uh, have been so dutifully working our way through the day are going to remain on duty until midnight tonight at 864-1100, as you just heard uh, Jerry and Norm mention, and your calls are invited. We're going to have a lot of music from here. We're going to visit with Norma Teagarden, with Richard Hadlock on the air, and perhaps a surprise guest or two. So stay with us. We're here from the Passant Live with Jazz from now until 1 a.m. And now we're going to go to Richard Hadlock, who is going to give us the introduction to the first set of the evening. Richard? This is Richard Hadlock and the Annals of Jazz. A rather unusual Annals of Jazz, I must say. Three hours of it tonight and live and direct from Passans in San Francisco. We're doing a little set to begin here, and I'm introduced the members of my band here after the first tune. But this set belongs to the late Earl Hines, and we're going to begin with his tune, Rosetta.
tune that Earl Hines wrote a long time ago called Rosetta. Here's one that Earl didn't write, but uh, caught a lot of people's attention because he recorded it with Jimmy Noon. It's called Sweet Lorraine. In case you're wondering where all this music's from, it's on KQED FM from Passons in San Francisco. I'm Richard Hadlock. This is an extended Annals of Jazz. And uh, we have with us tonight Ray Shelbred on piano, Leon Oakley on cornet, Tom Stamper is the drummer, and Stephen Strauss on bass. I'm Richard Hadlock on the saxophone and assorted reeds here. And it's a, quite a change for me. I'm accustomed to uh, playing recordings for people. And tonight we're playing music live. 
Here's one that Earl Hines wrote called You Can Depend on Me. Sudden Endings. You Can Depend on Me, written by Earl Hines. Here's one that Hines recorded uh, twice that I know of with some very outstanding people. Once with Louis Armstrong, once with Sidney Bechet. The tune was actually written by Don Redman, and it's still a good tune since 1928. Save it, Pretty Mama.
the Richard Hadlock Quintet with a special tribute to Earl Father Hines. The opening set here from Passans on Union Street on Sound Investment 83. We'll be back with more music from the Richard Hadlock Quintet, but right now we've got a special introduce our guest, from whom you're going to hear in a few moments as she sits down to play the piano, but let's chat now with Norma Teagarden. Norma, welcome to our KQED microphone. Awfully good to have you with us, and we're looking forward to hearing some of your piano playing in a few minutes. Now, you're from Texas originally, aren't you? Uh, yeah. We were born, all of us were born in Vernon. Vernon in, in Vernon, Texas. Texas. Mm -hmm. Where is that with relation to a, a larger town that we It's close to Wichita Falls, uh -huh. and it's near the northern border. Now, you're the younger sister of Jack and Charlie? I'm the only one. The, the only, only girl. The only girl in the family, okay. Yes. I understand that uh, your mother was a fine musician and taught all of you. Yes, she did. She, she um, started us all very young. She did. When, when did you start playing? Oh, five or six, something like that. And was it the piano to begin with? No, I played violin. Oh, did you? Uh -huh. Until I got out of high school. Uh, I played piano too, but uh, it wasn't my main instrument. Uh huh. And when I got out of high school, you see, my mother played piano, so we had a little group. That's why I played violin. Mm -hmm. When I got out of high school, I put it away, and I haven't, <laughs> I haven't played it since. Was it uh, was it classical music that you were interested in at that time? Mostly in um, uh, mm -hmm. in the violin. It was mm -hmm. chamber music. I could play in uh, orchestras, school mm -hmm. orchestras, and things. Mm -hmm. okay. And um, when did you uh, when did you take up the piano then, uh, really quite well, seriously? I always kept up the piano fairly. Once, for instance. Uh, I played for all the gym classes and the school choirs and the assemblies, those sort of things. I played piano. Mm -hmm. Now you've you've made um, quite a career out of piano playing here, and, and uh, have you traveled a good deal around the country? Yes, I did. I've been um, I was on the road four years with Jack in the '40s and th three years in the '50s. Was that with the band? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then I was with a territory band in the, in the 30s. You know, what do you mean by a territory band? Well, they uh, they played four or five nights a week out and had a bass, a bass place. I and see. Then played out. Mm -hmm. but, uh, in Texas, for instance, uh, you'd play Amarillo and then um, Roswell, New Mexico, and then Tucum Curry and Rio Dosa, those sort of things. And was it you prim primarily a dance band? You were playing for yes. mm -hmm. dances at uh, at ballrooms and yes. at uh, um, probably some colleges and universities from time to time. Yes. Yeah. At, uh, it was all band, mostly dance thing. Yeah. Of course, with Jack, um, the first four years was mostly during the war. Mm -hmm. We played a lot of army camps. Played practically all of them. And um, then when I was with him in small band, it was uh, more of a concert situation, not dances. Mm -hmm. Any particular outstanding memories of some of those uh, dates that you played? Any Anything that stands out in your mind? Yeah. Yes, I think uh, one of the nicest things I ever got to do was uh, uh, the Hollywood Canteen after the war was over they gave TV sets to all the hospitals in um, Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. So uh, we flew there, and then we flew to uh, Key West in one and one of those seaplanes that lands in the water and uh, this sort of thing. And uh, well, it, it was a very nice thing. We're about uh, 25, I guess. Uh, mm -hmm. Then I used to play summers in Mackinac Island, Michigan. I worked for the uh, Metropolitan Opera Ballet. Uh, they were on the floor show there. They worked out there in the summer and then um, did the fall season. So I, I helped uh, rehearse then. I, I was the, one of the piano players. Do you make your home here in the Bay Area yes. now? Uh -huh. How long have you lived here? We came here in 1959, so I've been here quite a long time. All right. What are some of the other places, the spots you've played around town? Uh, around town? Here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I was at the Marine Memorial uh, Club on weekends for a long time. Mm -hmm. I've been at the Washington Square Bar and Grill for eight years now. 
and um, you're appearing there regularly now. Mm -hmm. What what nights are you there? I'm there on Wednesday. Uh huh. And, uh, I'm going to be the empress at the Sacramento Jazz Festival this year. Oh wow! Yeah. What, what are the dates for that? The you know? dates are the 27th, 28th, 29th, and 30th. Mm -hmm. Although I'm going over the 26th too. Do you have a particular pianist or piano style that you uh, are particularly fond of? Uh, you have. Or is it your own tea garden style, you like know. to call it? <laughs> I wouldn't know what to call it. <laughs> you wouldn't? Know. Not really. Uh -huh. no. Well, do you, do you have a favorite kind of tunes I'd that you like to play? I'd have to ask someone else what they thought about it. Yeah. Uh, I, I like a lot of people. And just, um, I like uh, Dave McKenna and mm -hmm. Dick Hyman and... and, and I was awfully sorry to, that uh, Earl Hines died. He was a marvelous piano player. Quite an inspiration, I think, for any yeah. piano player in these days. Do you write, Norma, at all? Or do I write? Do you do write arrangements or write your I own used things? To, I used to write quite a bit. Uh, I did a lot of arranging when I had my own little groups. I had seven pieces in Long Beach for quite a while. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I've sort of gone away with it, or got away from it because I'm not playing with... Um, uh, with a group where you can, mm -hmm. you know, a steady group. I have a, a trio that comes in at Washington Square at 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of fun, good piano player and bass player. Good. Well, listen, it's lovely to visit with you. We're going to have you step over to the piano now and start your set in just a few moments. All right. And uh, thank you so much for being with us, Norma Teagarden. Sure, well, it was my pleasure. This is Sound Investment 83. You're listening to a live broadcast from Passans on Union Street in San Francisco. I've just been visiting with Norma Teagarden, who's going to sit down at the piano and entertain us for the next 10 or 15 minutes, and then Richard Hadlock and the quintet will return. Just a quick reminder, 864-1100 is the number to call to pledge your membership or your additional contribution to KQED during Sound Investment 83, our drive toward $75,000 by midnight on Monday night, and we're well along toward that goal, having now passed the $53,000 mark, thanks to you and all our good friends listening tonight. We hope that uh, you have a chance to step to your telephone between now and midnight and place your pledge at 864-1100. Now, if we're ready, Kevin, let's... Oh, we got to wait just a few moments till Norma gets settled down, so we'll once again mention that Memberships in KQBD-FM are really a sound investment. We're on the air all year round, and yet we only spend about seven or eight days each year doing what we're doing during this four-day drive, and that is to ask you to dig down uh, in your bank account and give us a little help. You can do it for as little as $35 a month, and you can do it with MasterCard or Visa. And if you're a little more generous than that, for a $50 membership, you can obtain a master's degree in science, which is a very coveted document which can and will be inscribed with your name and um, in the $60 category all of the above plus a powder milk biscuit t-shirt or a copy of the Bill Fontana KQBD FM record album Landscape Sculpture with Falkhorns. More details about membership later but now and don't forget the number 864-1100. Here's Norma Teagarden. <laughs> Thank you. 
Richard Hadlock again. We're back with the full band, Ray Shellbread, Leon Oakley, Tom Stamper, Stephen Strauss on bass. We're going to do a set of three tunes now that are by outstanding pianists who turn out to be uh, frequently the best composers in jazz. The first is Ubi Blake's tune. It's called You're Lucky to Me. The second is Embraceable You, and of course that's by George Gershwin. And the third is by James P. Johnson, and it's called Old Fashioned Love.
the Richard Hadlock Quintet, live from Passons on Union Street. Okay. Hi, Ray. Hello. Good to see you. Good to uh, see you uh, again. Another um, graduate, let's say, of Annals of Jazz or right. uh, co-producer over the years. Nice to see you. Nice to hear you at the piano tonight. Well, thank you very much. Uh, it's uh, it's quite a night here. We've got more business than I've seen in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope maybe KQED Sound Investment 83 has had something to do with that, but certainly the quintet is doing a beautiful job and pleasing the crowd here tonight immensely. This is the kind of music I like to play most. Uh, we work well, all of us work quite a bit, and uh, the kind of small group that we have here is very free. We have a little structure that we put together, but it's also very free, and we love to fool around with songs that I think sometimes other groups don't get a chance to play, or maybe we don't get a chance to play other places, and, mm -hmm. and it's it's real nice for us. Can you, is there, is there any kind of a name or a sort of box that we can put this style into? Are you playing... Uh, a specific kind of jazz. Um, I'm trying to get to a, a, a descriptive name. It's hard to do, Gina. People are always asking that, and, and it's we draw on New Orleans, we mm -hmm. draw upon uh, Chicago jazz, New York swing. We all love Duke Ellington dearly, mm -hmm. and uh, I guess it's just kind of the way we hear all those sounds. That's what comes out. 